everyone, and welcome to the February 7th edition of The Fart for Butler 360 Sports. I'm Kelsey Casper. And I'm Jimmy Lofankas. And we have a great show for you today, starting with our all sports recap, followed by our one on one interview with baseball player Zach Parker. And to finish the show, we have a live preview of our upcoming games. But for right now, let's check out some highlights from the previous Butler men's basketball games against Marquette and DePaul. Let's take a look. The Butler Bulldogs look to sweep the season series against Marquette University when they tipped off on Wednesday night in Milwaukee. The Bulldogs' main focus in the game was to stop Marquette phenom Marcus Foster. He finished with 26 points on the night. The game was kept close early, but Butler's 10-0 run, capped off by this lucky bounce from a fadeaway from Sean McDermott, helped the dogs pull away for good. Keelan Martin continued his hot Big East play by finishing with 16 points and 7 rebounds while shooting 60% from behind the arc. Tyler Weidman had a career high 21 points on 8 of 9 shooting from the field, including this and one. The Bulldogs defeated the Golden Eagles by a final score of 92 to 72, sweeping the season series between the two teams. In Game 2 of the weekend, the Bulldogs took on the DePaul Blue Demons at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Again, the game was back and forth early, with DePaul taking an early lead in the first quarter. Keelan Martin continued his excellent play with a game-high 26 points. He also led his team in rebounds and assists with 6 of each. Mar Baldwin got 2 of his 10 points with this steal and dunk, but overall had a quiet weekend offensively. The highlight of the night was freshman walk-on Campbell Donovan hitting his first career 3, sending Hinkle Fieldhouse into frenzy. Butler picked up their second win of the weekend with an 80 to 57 win. Butler is now on a four game win streak and will be and will play Xavier at home on Tuesday night. There's a lot of other action happening for the Bulldogs. We take you to Keelan and Claire who have the sports updates across campus. The Butler women's tennis team swept both of their matches this past weekend, including a 5 to 2 victory against Valparaiso on Saturday and a 4 to 3 victory against Cleveland State on Sunday. These were the Bulldogs first two wins of the season improving their record to 2-4. and four. Senior Bailey Padgett won two singles matches and one doubles match with fellow senior Jordan Minnick. Sophomore Nina Bertino clinched the, the deciding match at number five singles on Sunday. The Dogs have a doubleheader today against UND and DePaul. The Butler women's basketball team had two tough losses this past week against Villanova and St. John's. Butler fought a close game against Villanova but fell short, 69-67. Winnie Jennings went 10 for 14 and scored a game-high 29 points, and Tori Schickel had 19 points. The Bulldogs also fell short to St. John's this past week, 76-38. Kristen Spoyar led the Bulldogs with 12 points in her second start of the season. Across campus from Hinkle Fieldhouse, we can find the baseball team practicing. The team is preparing for their season opening tournament in North Carolina. Jamie takes us to the Diamond to talk a little bit more about a transfer who's making an impact on this team. Zach Parker, a transfer from Division II Lewis University, will play his first games as a Butler Bulldog this year. Parker reunites with his older brother, Garrig, a senior outfielder for the Bulldogs. Every time I visited Garrig here, I loved it. You know, from visiting him as a senior in high school when he was a freshman, I kind of always had an idea in the back of my mind of if I came here, how fun that would be, especially playing baseball with Garrig. So when I made the switch, that was right around the time when Andre Mulacy made that huge donation to the business school. Um, and then also when I made the switch, Coach Shrag came in as the new coach, so I knew that things were turned in the, in the right direction. I made the correct move. Parker transferred to Butler last year. Per NCAA rules, the redshirt sophomore was not allowed to practice once last season started. Parker is excited for the opportunity to get back on the diamond. We were picked unanimously to finish last in the Big East, and we proved a lot of people wrong. Um, we were a few games out of the Big East tournament. And even this year, they picked us to finish fifth, and I think they're still doubting us. And I think the work that we're putting in this weight room, as well as on the field, I think we're going to prove a lot of people wrong. I mean, 
this uh, this team's got a lot of chemistry, work ethic, and a lot of talent. I think we're going to turn a lot of heads this year in college baseball. He takes great pride in coming to Butler from the Chicagoland area and wanted to bring a taste of Chicago to his new home. Uh, one of my brother's good friends back home came up with the term Hoss. He, uh, it came from Marion Hossa, the Blackhawks legend. So Hoss is like the highest compliment you can give someone. It's like, you're the man. You're, it's almost like a goat. And we throw that around uh, on the team. Like if someone's working hard, if someone's doing their job, we call them a Hoss. Reporting for The Bark, I'm Jimmy Lofakis. Not far from Bulldog Park are the Butler men's tennis courts, and the tennis team has really been preparing for their midseason stretch. Ryan Roach gives us an insider's perspective on how they're preparing for their first home tournament of the season. The Butler University men's tennis team is coming into the 2018 season trying to defend the Big East Championship, in which they won in 2017. They have yet to play a conference match this season. The Bulldogs have started their first three matches with a 1-2 and two record. They have beaten the Illinois State Cardinals and were defeated by the University of Louisville Cardinals and the Western Michigan University Broncos. Coming up this week on February 8th at 4 p.m., the Bulldogs face the University of Indianapolis in Indianapolis, Indiana. The expected lineup for the Bulldogs this weekend will be Aviv Shabbat at one singles, Mason Dragos at two singles, Spencer Lang at three singles, Michael Dixon at four singles, Adrian Mag at five singles, and rounding out the Bulldogs with Ari Gerstein at number six singles. Beller tennis player Mason Dragos talked with me before practice and said, quote, We need to play our smartest tennis in order to come away with a win this weekend. It'll be tough, but our team is strong and patient. I know we can do it. End quote. This weekend's match will be held at the Butler Bubble, so come out and cheer on your Butler Bulldogs. Back at Hinkle Fieldhouse, I am joined by Chris Brown, fellow reporter for Butler 360 Sports, and he's here to talk a little bit more about the Butler women's basketball team. All right, Chris, tell me, how's this team been doing recently? Sure, so the women's basketball team has really been struggling of late. They won two straight games, but now have lost four straight, including the last two on the road against St. John's and against Seton Hall. So they fell from being in the middle of the Big East Conference now down to eighth. So they really have their work cut out for them if they're going to turn things around this upcoming weekend. And tell me, what is the next opportunity the Bulldogs have to end this losing streak of theirs? Yes, so this weekend, the Bulldogs return home to Hinkle Field House. On Friday, they'll take on DePaul at 7 p.m. And on Sunday, they'll take on Marquette at 1 p.m. Uh, both those teams right now are top, uh, top of the Big East Conference, so they have their Bulldogs have their work cut out for them this weekend. And specifically, what do you think the Bulldogs need to work on to ensure these wins against these two really tough teams? Sure, so there are two keys that I'm looking for this weekend for the women's team to get things back on track. The first is going to be getting off to a strong start. The previous matchup against DePaul, the women's team really started off slowly and weren't able to recover, and slow starts have hurt them this season. So I think uh, getting off to a strong start with a new uh, increased energy um, that hasn't been present as much in recent games is going to be key for the team um, in their games this weekend. The second key for me is going to be getting offensive contributions from throughout the roster. Uh, the team gets most of its points from uh, juniors Tori Schickel and Whitney Jennings. And against these Big East teams at the top of the conference have lots of scoring threats. They're going to need to have a third player step up for them for the Bulldogs this weekend. I'm um, looking for maybe Kristen Spolier or Michelle Weaver to do that this weekend. Definitely. Well, thank you, Chris, for joining us here. We'll keep you updated on those upcoming Butler women's basketball games. And that's the first episode of The Bark. Come back next week where we give you an inside look at the Butler women's lacrosse team and also give you a perspective on a walk on capturing the hearts of thousands, Campbell Donovan. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Jimmy Lofakis. And I'm Kelsey Casper. Thanks for watching. All right.